Can you imagine Portland today without the Portland Art Museum? I can't. I couldn't even begin to imagine what it would be like. There was a time in Portland where the museum was considered for the elite, not for the masses. It had an impact on the community at large. And I was very aware of this and really tried to change the atmosphere and the attitude for the museum to constantly allow your up and coming artists to be exploited and shown. I think that's very important. For years, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. And look at the difference it's made. I think it's very important for the museum and for the community to keep your vision going in what's happening. It doesn't mean you have to accept everything, but, but I think you have to have a responsibility to at least show it. I want to inspire other people and other families to do things for their community. If you don't do it and I don't do it, who's going to do it? You, you, you owe something. You can't just take in a fresh air. You, you have to be responsible. There's only one way to show it. It's either put up or shut up. You have to show a community that you care about the community and things like the Art Museum. You can't imagine a Portland without the Art Museum. And one of the things that makes me excited is the Rothko Pavilion. I always found it kind of thrilling that Mark Rothko was raised in our community of Portland. And so it makes me especially happy that we're gonna have a pavilion named here for Mark Rothko. I think he's one of the greatest artists of our time. My father even told me that when Rothko was a little boy, he used to sit on my dad's lap and he was always trying to draw something. I think the Rothko Pavilion can only mean great things for the Portland Art Museum very meaningful moment in my life in this city and thinking ahead to what's possible is when Brian Fariso from the Art Museum came and asked for our support and of course it was our pleasure to support this great endeavor of the Art Museum. I'm, I'm proud of what this community has done for art, the artists, and organizations that support art. I am proud. I think for a smaller community like Portland, I think we've done a remarkable job. Good citizens are the riches of a city.